There's a man who joins who wants to be a millionaire, but they commit a fraud that his wife is an accomplice. What was this trick and how did they do it in front of millions of viewers watching such a game show? And how were they caught? Before we begin our story, if you are new to this channel and you are not subscribing yet, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video so that you are always updated with life amazing stories. Who wants to be a millionaire is probably familiar to us since we've watched it once on our television in the 90s. This is a popular game show that measures how smart the participant's mind is to win the prize. Simply the way to get involved, you just have to make a phone call until they choose you to be a game show participant. From the group of selected contestants, they select a participant to play in the jackpot round by handpicking and selecting the correct answer. The fastest participants will sit in the middle of the stage or what they call hot seat for the final round to have the opportunity to answer 50 questions as if it's an exam. In exchange for this is 1 million euros or equivalent to 58 million pesos. Meanwhile, unlucky participants will sit on the edge of the stage as they will be the reserve participant in case they beat the hot seat player immediately. This first popular game show was aired in the United Kingdom in September 1998. And because of the great popularity, it also had a version of it and the Philippines was one of them. Many people join this game show in the UK because of its big prize. They see it as an opportunity to get out of poverty of being and smart. One of these was the family of Charles William Ingram, a British army. First was given a chance to play in the hot seat of the game show. His wife's brother Adrian Pawlak won 30,000 euros or about 1.8 million pesos. Next to play here is Ingram's very own wife Diana, she also won 30,000 euros same with her brother. But she's not happy, she wants to be more than his brother's prize because of being savaged by the money. He devised a plan and waited for her husband, Charles Ingram, to enter the game. September 9, 2001, after hundreds of phone calls to join who wants to be a millionaire, blessed Charles Ingram to enter the game show. And with his thorough training at their home, he quickly answers questions against other contestants and reasons for him to sit in the hot seat and have the opportunity to win a jackpot prize. With his wife Diana as well as her sister sitting in the audience group. But with everyone's knowledge this family will do their best to get the jackpot prize even in the wrong way, and this is the fraud. The first five questions made it easy for Ingram in just a few moments he won 1,000 euros or 58,000 pesos. In the middle of the game, the staff of the game show noticed that Diana's brother was in and out of the studio. They doubted it and said he could be released to the studio or just stay in his seat. Staff thought he was doing a phenomenon that might give Charles Ingram the right answer in an unlikely way, but they couldn't figure it out so they just kept the game show on. When the sixth question came up, Diana's brother was just sitting with the audience and couldn't get out with his phone. Because of this, Ingram had difficulty with the question and used his lifeline. The lifeline was three helps you could use throughout the game. First, is to ask the audience where studio audiences will vote for the right answer. Second, is the 50-50 where the game show removes two wrong answers from four options. Lastly, to phone a friend, where you call a friend to give you the right answer. In the sixth question, Ingram immediately used his lifeline to ask the audience too early compared to another contestant who had already played in the hot seat. Despite this, Ingram got the right answer and won 2,000 euros. When it came to the seventh question, Ingram didn't know the answer to it without the help from his wife's brother. Then, Ingram used the second lifeline again and it was the phone to a friend. Fortunately, his friend gave the right answer and he won 4,000 euros or about 230,000 pesos. But the program time for that night ended and they had to pursue it the next day. Despite the anxious staff of the game show, they smelled something that happened to contestant Ingram. They have a suspicion that it is not good but, they have no evidence against it and they cannot determine in any way. Meanwhile, Ingram's camp won't be beating, they have some time to think of a new way to win the game show the next day. Because of this, they thought of seeking an accomplice for their plan and what they saw was Tequan Wittick, one of the game show's contestant reserves. 
The next day Ingram happily continued the game and it was time to try out their thought strategy. It was approaching the eighth question. Here, Ingram read the four options. Shortly after Wittek sat down and Ingram chose an answer. Ingram was right and he won 8,000 euros or 460,000 pesos. It reached the ninth question and fortunately Ingram knew the right answer and that he would win 16,000 euros or 900,000 pesos again. But the staff of the game show still couldn't believe it and they were still anxious that there's something wrong with participant Ingram. They were still thinking of stopping the game show, but they didn't have enough evidence to do so they were forced to just pursue it. It was critical when the tenth question came up. Ingram didn't know the answer and he used his last lifeline 50-50 to break the two answer options. Ingram's wife Diana is anxious and the camera always hits Wittick, but still the staff has no idea in the incident. Diana felt that Ingram didn't know the answer so what she did is unexpected. Suddenly, Diana coughs in front of the camera, a sign that she knows the answer and Ingram hears it again and reads the options again. And every time the correct answer was mentioned, Ingram's wife suddenly coughed. That's their plan for Ingram to read the possible answers and Wittek had to cough up every time the right answer was mentioned. But at that time Wittek didn't know the answer and only Diana knew, so she was forced to cough. A tricky way to mischief the game shows staff to stop seeking evidence to prove their doubts. Ingram eventually answered the remaining five questions and with Wittek's help coughing up, he won a jackpot prize of 1 million euros or nearly 58 million pesos. And to alleviate the staff's suspicion, they tried to chap the couple but they found nothing. Despite winning their game show, the staff were not happy because they knew they wanted to but they couldn't determine how. When Ingram and Diana entered their dressing room, staff heard their loud voices that instead of being happy they heard the couple arguing. They heard Diana scolding Ingram as if she were telling him that he didn't keep their deal. And his reap of money was likely to cause them trouble. When staff heard it they immediately reviewed tapes containing all the game show scenes. With the help of 8 cameras and 20 microphones, staff heard and witnessed the fraud led by Ingram. The camera caught Diana's cuff as well as her repeated glimpse at Wittek every time it appeared on the game show questions. It was also caught on looking at the monitors monitoring his moves on the show. On the other hand, Wittek's cuffing was clearly heard every time Ingram mentions the right answer from the options. There are also times when Wittek talks to his fellow contestants and openly mentions the right answer. The staff of the game show called Ingram quickly and said he could not get 1 million euro due to fraud allegations. And within a few days the investigation was underway in court and with the help of recorded tapes as well as testimony witnesses, they were convicted of two years imprisonment in a fraudulent case. They were also fined 30,000 euros or equivalent to 1.7 million pesos. In addition, Ingram also lost his job to the British Army because his morals were broken when his fraud was spread in their country's national news. Eventually they suffered more damage than the prize they were hoping for. There is nothing bad about just the right way and not too much. Let us remember that money is worth nothing but certain misfortunes. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to get updated with life amazing stories.